Flosstube. Thanks for stopping by my channel. My name is Shiloh and I'm a cross stitcher and knitter living in Nova Scotia, Canada. Thanks so much for coming by for a visit. If it's your first time here, I talk a lot about cross stitch, a lot about knitting. So if you're into either of those things, I think you'll enjoy spending some time with me. You can find me on Instagram as at xstitchmd. And in the description box below, I link all of the projects, patterns, supplies that I'm working on. So if you want to uh, work on any of the projects that I am, hopefully I can enable you to start some of them yourself. It's been two weeks since my last video and I have a lot of progress to share. I also have a giveaway that will be at the end of this video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. I wanted to start off though by uh, answering a couple questions that I've gotten that have kind of come up repeatedly over the past few videos. So I figured I'd just answer them here. Um, as well as answer them individually in the comments because I'm sure other people have the same questions. So one of the questions I've had several times is about this piece over in the corner here. So this is a cross stitch piece I did several years ago and it's called Dollhouse by Bright Needle Designs. It's now an out of print chart but you can sometimes find it on eBay or Etsy. Um, you can do like a saved search on eBay so if you just type in like Bright Needle Dollhouse and save it when it comes up for sale. Hopefully you'll be able to snag a copy. It's one of my favorite patterns I've stitched. They also have um, a needle workshop, which I have stitched and is rolled up in a box <laughs> waiting to be framed. So I do need to get on that. Uh, another question I've gotten quite a bit is asking about how to learn how to knit. I do not have any videos on how to learn how to knit yet. I'm considering doing that. The only thing is that I knit left-handed and so I'm not sure how helpful it is to see someone knit left-handed since the majority of people are right-handed. However, there are a lot of tutorial videos already out there uh, to teach people how to knit. And some of the ones that I recommend over and over again, uh, first of all, are from Caroline at Off The Grid Needle Arts. She has a whole learn to knit playlist on her YouTube channel, which is excellent. Um, as well, Natalie from Knitty Natty has a whole bunch of uh, tutorials about knitting socks and all kinds of stuff. She also, in all of her uh, knitting videos, shows how to knit both left-handed and right-handed. So she's awesome. I'll link both of those channels below and I'd highly recommend those for learning how to knit. The last question I've gotten quite a bit is asking me where I get my fabrics, um, especially from people that don't live in the US. So I get most of my fabrics from either 123 Stitch or traditional stitches. 123 Stitch is a cross stitch shop in Utah but they have very reasonable shipping to Canada. I don't know about other countries, but you could check. They have, you know, it's pretty reasonable even with the exchange rate to Canada, so I'd recommend them. And then Traditional Stitches is a cross-stitch store in Calgary, Alberta, in Canada, and I'm a member of their Fabric of the Month Club, so I get a fat quarter, which is 18 inches by 27 inches, of a 36 count linen every month. And I love it because every month is a different color. I'm always surprised. A lot of times it's colors I wouldn't have necessarily chosen, but I end up using them. So those are my two go-tos for buying fabric. Okay, that was a lot of talking. <laughs> so uh, let's get on to showing what I've been working on. So I'll start off with my stitching progress. And right now I'm working on two different stitch alongs. Uh, the first one, is one that's been ongoing for a while, and this is the Caterpillar Cross Stitch Hello Dear Stitch Along. And I have finished the first three parts. So the robin was part one, the squirrel was part two, and this bunny was part three that came out uh, three weeks ago. So the latest part, part four, uh, came out, and it's this section here, and we have like a little deer, which, you know, the name is Hello Dear, so we were expecting a deer. And part five comes out a week from Monday. So my goal is to finish the deer part before the final release. This is so, so, so cute. I'm stitching it with the called for DMC threads on 28 count white even weave. Uh, Caterpillar Cross Stitch very kindly provided me with the kit for this pattern. So thank you so much, Sally. And I'm just loving this. It's so much fun to stitch with all the little motifs. This bunny is just so cute. They also have a fall one, which is called Hello Pumpkin, and they're gonna have a spring and a summer one coming out in the new year. And I need to do them all. <laughs> all right, uh, the next stitch along is one that I am actually hosting myself. So this is the Winter Wonderland chart by Heastreek Steakmooster, and it's available both on their website as well as on the Silk Stitching app. So the Silk Stitching app is amazing, and if you haven't tried it out yet, you should. It's for iOS devices only, 
at this time, but they just came out with a new update, which I'm sure you've heard about because everyone's talking about it, where you can uh, highlight stitches and it'll track your progress. So that's super handy because it tells you how far along in the chart you are, which to me is very motivating to see how far along I'm getting. So I'll show you where I'm at. So I finish one block and made a pretty good start in the second. I'm switching this with the uh, recommended DMC, except it called for DMC 3865 and my Michaels was all out of it. So I just used a uh, white DMC and it's DMC 814 and 816. So this square was so much fun to stitch. I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm working on this one next, which is a little bit less stitch heavy. I'm stitching this on a 32 count flax linen, or sorry, 36 count flax linen, which was actually part of my uh, fabric of the month club from Traditional Stitches. And I'm stitching with two strands of floss. So I know some people think two strands is too thick on 36 count. I personally love the coverage it gives me. I like thicker coverage, especially for darker colors, like reds or blacks or blues. I just like the thicker coverage. I've also had people ask questions about getting my white stitches to lay nicely. Um, I don't really have too much of a problem with it. I don't know if that's focusing very well, but to me, I don't know, I just tend to go slow and <laughs> they all seem to work out. You can railroad your stitches. And if you're not sure what that means, I'd recommend YouTubing it or Googling it. Um, it's just a technique to help your stitches lay a bit neater. I don't railroad. Um, to me, I don't really care too much about how neat my stitches look. To me, they look neat enough. And once it's framed on the wall, no one's looking that closely, so. <laughs> All right, that's my Winter Wonderland stitch along. So if you'd like to join in, uh, still plenty of time. We'd love to see your progress and use the hashtag Winter Wonderland SAL. Highly recommend following that uh, hashtag on Instagram because there's so many beautiful projects as people are doing. Uh, one person has converted it to greens, one person's converted it to blues, people are using dark fabrics. There's just so many gorgeous projects out there and I'm loving seeing them. All right, my next stitching piece that I've worked on is not a stitch along. Uh, this is Cirque de Coors or Circus of Hearts by Ink Circles. And it's available as a PDF download on their website, which is how I got it. And here's where I'm at. I have made it all the way across the design. So I'm more than halfway complete because this line here is the halfway point. And so I'm more than halfway complete. And I just love this so much. The color is a bit brighter than it's showing. That's a bit more accurate-ish. I'm using a Silks For You and the color is 019. And I'm using two strands over two on a 32 count white Murano even weave. Okay, look at this duck. I'm gonna call it a duck. I don't know, maybe it's a different bird, but I think it's so cute. This, I was like, is this a sun? Is it a flower? And then on Instagram, people were like, it's a sunflower. And I was like, how did I not think of that? <laughs> uh, this is just so much fun to stitch. I love how every single heart is a different motif. It's so fun. So I worked on this a lot over the past week because I literally just couldn't put it down. So there is my Cirque de Coors. Super fun, loving it. Okay, so those are the only three cross-stitching patterns I worked on because I was kind of obsessed with all of them and when I started working on them, I just worked on them for several days in a row. I do have some knitting to show as well. So my last video, I talked about wanting to start Sharon's Glamping Blanket, which is a knit along hosted by Casa Pinka. Uh, check her out on Instagram and Ravelry. She's got some amazing patterns. So I saw this pattern uh, she had posted and I loved the color palette. Um, the yarn that she was using was Barocco Vintage, but I decided to use uh, Loops and Threads Charisma yarn. It's super cheap. I got it from Michaels. It was on sale. It was like less than $5 per ball of yarn. And for an Afghan, when you're using so many balls of yarn, um, every little bit counts in terms of being able to save money. So I started this uh, maybe two weeks ago. I think I started it shortly after my last video. I'm obsessed with this. I... It's getting huge. So this afghan is comes in several sizes. I think there's like four or five sizes. I'm knitting the sofa size. And here is where it's at so far. I'll back up so you can see the whole thing. <laughs> keep backing up, keep backing up. So it's this is not even the full width because I have it all bunched up on the needles. I think it's 43 inches across. 
I'll zoom in. <laughs> Scoot back in to show you a bit closer up. So it calls for four different colors. So I am using um, Charisma Yarn by Loops and Threads, which is a Michaels brand. And this is the colorway Honey, colorway Blossom, uh, Mushroom, can't remember, something like that. Uh, if you check out my Ravelry page, um, I'm at Dr. Shiloh, D-R Shiloh. Uh, I have all the color names. I think it's mushroom or beige or something. And then the brown is taupe. So this is so much fun to knit. There's just so many different patterns in it. So you start off with a rib, then it goes into this fun like broken rib, this like alternating knit and pearl, some garters, some lace, I don't know what this is, but it was fun to do. <laughs> uh, I love this stitch. Um, this was fun, all this stuff. So there are 21 sections and I think I'm through 10 or 11 of them. So I still have quite a ways to go, at least halfway to go, but I'm just loving this blanket and these colors are just amazing. I never would have thought about this, putting this color palette together, but uh, this is what Casapinka knit hers in. Um, she knit it using Barocco yarn, but these colors, and I just love it. So super fun to knit. It knits up pretty quickly. Um, I think I have 173 stitches on the needle, but it's bulky weight yarn, so it's pretty thick, and it knits up pretty quickly. Also, this yarn is fairly tweedy. Well, it's, it is tweed. <laughs> the, uh, the yellow, beige, and uh, taupe are all Charisma tweed, and the pink is not tweed, so it doesn't have any of those flecks in it but I really like how the extra depth that gives. I'm obsessed with this blanket, if you couldn't tell, and I'm so excited to have it finished. It's at the stage now where it's like long enough to cover my lap when I'm knitting it, which is just so nice and cozy. So that is my Sharon's Glamping Blanket. Highly recommend. All right, the next pattern, or the next knitting thing I'm working on is a pair of socks, and I'm just gonna switch the camera over to give you a view of them and just knit along on a row or so. I've had several people ask um, how I knit, and so I thought I'd just show you um, how I knit a row on my socks on a nine inch circular needle. So this is my latest knitting cast on sock. And this yarn is by Timber Yarns, which is a Canadian yarn shop. I'll link them in the description box below. And this is their twin sock set. Um, so you get two skeins of the same color. And this is their Smarty Pants colorway, which is a self-striping yarn. I have my ball of yarn in this thing called a yarn corset, which is like this stretchy, netty thing that helps hold your ball of yarn all together, especially if you're doing a center pole ball. The pattern I'm doing is called Skippy Stripes and that's S-K-Y-P-P-Y stripes, which is a free pattern available on Ravelry. I've had some questions about how I knit my socks on six inch circular needles, so I figured I would just show you how I do it. All right, so I can't never remember the type of knitting this is called, if it's continental or English, but basically I'm a left-handed knitter and I hold the working yarn in the same hand as my working needle. When you're working on uh, nine inch circular needles, it's pretty much the same as any other circular needles. They're just quite a bit smaller, so it can be a little bit fiddly at times. So this is just, uh, I'm knitting the plain stockinette section. So I just get to knit in the round over and over and over again. And I have a stitch marker that marks the beginning of the round. I've already knit my ribbing, which is a two by two ribbing for the cuff. This is all stockinette. And then this little section here um, has the SKYP um, pattern repeat, which is basically a slip stitch, knit one, yarn over, and then pass the slip stitch over. And that's just in that little chunk there. I really like this pattern and how it's knitting up. And uh, the stripes make it just so much fun to knit. So that's how I do it. Oops, and I just messed that one up. Let's end on a correct one. There you go. All right, I hope that was helpful or at least semi-interesting. Um, speaking of timber yarns, I you can never have one skein travel alone. So I did purchase some other skeins from them. What started this all was them posting on their Instagram about their 12 days of Christmas mystery sock yarn. So I, of course, needed to order it and they've posted it now on their Instagram, but if you have ordered it and want to be surprised, close your eyes so you don't see. But I'll just show you the little package it came that it comes with because it was so cute. So 
This was the little teaser picture that they posted on their Instagram. And you got a nice note from the dyer Heather's mom, Pat, which is so sweet. So that was the teaser photo and that's kind of the inspiration for this color palette. All right, and here is the yarn. So this is a self-striping yarn, uh, just like my socks were. And so each of these colors is a stripe. I can't remember how many uh, stripes it is. I think it's 12 or something like that. This also comes with a little progress keeper. So those cute little gingerbread man. And for those of you who aren't knitters, uh, progress keepers basically are a way of keeping track of how much progress you've made um, in a knitting session. So you clip this on to whatever row you're starting off with and then you knit and then the next time you show your yarn or take a picture of your project, you can see like exactly how much progress you've gotten. Super cute little gingerbread man. So I really like how Timber Yarns sells their yarns because they sell them in two 50 gram skeins that match. So you knit one sock from each skein and you can get matching socks. It's called their twin sock set. So super cute with the progress keeper. It also came with um, two mini skeins. So these are to be used for heels and toes if you want to. Uh, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. If I'm gonna do, um, if I'm gonna do contrasting. So if I'm gonna do one sock with brown heel and toe and the other sock with a red heel and toe or if I'm going to do red on one or if I'm going to do like red and brown on one red and brown on the other I haven't decided yet kind of like the mismatch looked personally so these match beautifully and you can see that tonal variegation in these it's gorgeous yarn so that's that and it also came with some goodies some hot chocolate some Lindor chocolate so that was so much fun to open and then I mean, even two traveling alone seems a bit sad, right? So I had to get another set. And this is the Vintage Christmas set. So it's a bit more muted colors. Again, the striping, it's beautiful. And it also came with the Progress Keeper, little Timber Yards Progress Keeper. And this is gorgeous. And I'll just show you, so this is their label here. So their yarn is 80% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon. And again, for those of you who don't know, Superwash Merino basically means that you can wash it in the washing machine. Um, but I wouldn't, you should never probably wash it in the, or never put it in the dryer because it'll not work. <laughs> I don't know. I don't put my socks in the dryer. I wash them in the washing machine and then I hang them to dry. So that is vintage Christmas. And so I'm going to have several pairs of Christmas socks, but I just got to get on it soon. All right. So that is my timber yarn. And I'll just show you, this is the Smarty Pants yarn in the skein. Oh, and for those of you who are not living in Canada. I don't know if these are unique to Canada, but these are Smarties. These are the candy that this skein is designed from. So every color is a type of Smarty. And these are chocolate candy that you can get in Canada. I don't know if they, you can get them elsewhere if they're called something else, but these are what Smarties are. And Heather sent a <laughs> box of Smarties with these. So that was really cute. Okay. Other stuff I got in the mail because I've been shopping a lot lately. It's kind of a problem, but not really. I'm supporting local businesses not local. I'm supporting small businesses. <laughs> All right. I got this needle binder the other day and it is so cute. I put it back on its little card just to show you, but I've been using it like all the time. So this is by florals and floss and I got it from their Etsy shop. I think it was like $13 Canadian. So that's like $10 us or something. It's such a cute needle binder. They also have um, another one that's like a leaf. They're actually an embroidery shop and they sell like embroidery kits, but love this needle binder. It's so cute. Okay, also bought some yarn, more yarn besides the timber yarn. <laughs> so another dyer that I've discovered that's a Canadian dyer is called Brine Dye Works and I'll link them below and they're in Alberta. They have absolutely gorgeous stuff. They're having a shop update today, which I have set a reminder for because I need to buy everything. They just have like absolutely beautiful yarn. Okay, so what did I buy from them? I bought two sock kits from them. The first one is called the Illumination Sock Set. And I'll put in a picture here of what the pattern for the socks is. It didn't come with the pattern. You have to buy that separately on Ravelry, but it's like $5 or something. So this is the pattern and it is gorgeous. And I'm like, I need this. Uh, and here's the yarn. So, oh my goodness. Like this is just, oh, I can't even. So this color is called Nori, AKA the seaweed. And this color is called Gary, G-A-R-I. I'm probably saying that wrong. They're each 50 grams and they are 75% merino, 25% nylon. I really love their logo. 
So that is this sock set. So it's 50 grams of each, which is enough to make the pair of socks. And I can't wait to cast these on. This is like a really nice tonal. This has some speckles in it. Oh, I love. <laughs> it's just beautiful. I love these colors. Okay, the other one is the Breakwater set. So here's a picture of that sock pattern. And I love this with all the colors. It's just so beautiful. I think there was another option as well for like two colors, but I really love the multicolor. So here are the colors. Ah! Okay, are these not the most beautiful, cheerful colors you've ever seen in your life? All right, let's go through the names. I actually have no idea because I, <laughs> they're not in the right order. I think this one's called Urchin. This one is an oily swell. This one is algae. I think this one is knacker, N-A-C-R-E, and this one is no blue foods. I'm guessing, it could be wrong. But look at how beautiful these are. It's really hard to hold them. Just all the speckly, beautiful goodness. So these are each uh, 20 gram mini skeins, 92 yards each. I think that she still has these kits on her website. Highly recommend. I am so excited to cast these socks on as well. And I just can't stop staring at these because they're so beautiful. <laughs> so that was my haul from Brian Dye Works. So I'm really excited to buy more from them. Um, she actually ships her yarn, at least within Canada, I'm not sure elsewhere, but vacuum sealed. So it's like in the sealed bag, which makes shipping a lot cheaper. And it's like so fun to cut open the bag and then it just like expands. <laughs> it was very exciting. <laughs> So little things. Okay, that's all my stitching and knitting stuff. So let's talk about the giveaway. So my last video, I talked about the new designer, Galliana Designs. Uh, you can find her on Instagram, Facebook, Etsy, all those things. And one of the charts that she has recently designed that I love is called the bookshelf. And I'll put a picture of it here to remind you. So this is a gorgeous design that she has charted all in one color. I had posted this pattern on my Instagram and someone had suggested like doing each of the books in a different color, which I loved that idea. Um, anyway, so after I had posted about it, Galliana Designs reached out to me and asked if I'd like to host a giveaway, which of course, why wouldn't I? Um, and very kindly provided me with a copy of the bookcase PDF as well as a copy for myself. So that is so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, I believe her name is Elaine. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure it's Elaine. Uh, so the giveaway for this week is a PDF download of the chart, the bookcase, no, the bookshelf. I forget. It'll be on the screen. <laughs> and so this is a PDF download that I'll, I'll email to you. You don't have to, it works on an Apple, it works on Android, anything. It's a PDF download. Uh, you download it to your computer. You can print it off. You can stitch it from your laptop, your phone, anything. So in order to be entered for the giveaway, just include the word book in your comment um, and I will draw a winner in two weeks. I'm really excited about this chart. I'm thinking it's going to be a January 1st start for me. And I'm thinking I'm also going to host a stitch along for it. Um, that's the plan for right now, at least we'll see. It depends on how many other things I have going on, but I love supporting new designers. And I think Galliana designs has some gorgeous patterns and I hope you like them as well. So again, if you want to be entered, entered for the giveaway, just leave me a comment down below and include the word book somewhere in your comment. You could even just write the word book. I don't care. That's fine. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Um, so yeah, so we'll see who is lucky winner in two weeks. All right. That's all I have for this time. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you're having a good Sunday or whatever day of the week it is in your part of the world. Um, hope you're enjoying lots of time stitching. If you're enjoying my content, feel free to subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment, all that good stuff. I just love hearing from you guys. It's just so much fun. And yeah, I just love it. <laughs> okay, I think I'm all out of words now and I probably should get to some stitching and some knitting and uh, yeah, just enjoy the rest of my Sunday. So take care everyone. I'll see you again in two weeks. Bye.